This video will introduce you the complex number. A complex number basically consists of two part. One is called as real part and other is called as imaginary part. Here Z is given as A plus B I where A and B both are real numbers and the B is multiplied by I which is equal to under root of minus 1. You can plot the complex number on one plane consists of a real axis and imaginary axis. This plane is called as S plane. Suppose we want to represent 3 comma 2 i. So, you have to cut 3 distance on the real axis and 2 units on imaginary axis that is 2 i. Where these two number will come that will be equal to 3 plus 2 i. So, 3 is the real part and 2 i is the imaginary part. This type of system used is called as Cartesian system. The given plane is called S plane and this one is called as argon diagram. There are number of ways we can represent the given point in a complex plane. One form is called as Cartesian, the second form is called as polar form. Polar form we can obtain by joining the point directly with the origin and by finding the value m and theta where m is called as modulus and theta is called as phase angle. The value of m you can obtain by applying the Pythagoras theorem. So, according to Pythagoras theorem, m is equal to the distance x square plus y square. So, basically it is a square plus b square or if we represent z equal to x plus i y, then it is a x square plus y square. So, in general, the point on the S plane is represented by x comma i plus y and correspondingly we have distance x and y units on x and y axis. So, given point is x comma i y where x is the distance measured from the origin along the x-axis or real axis and y is the distance measured parallel to the y-axis or to the imaginary axis. So, since distance is a positive quantity, m is also always a positive quantity. So, we have m equal to x square plus y square is basically equals to real part square plus imaginary part square. The angle theta we can find out by tan inverse, but m is basically called as the magnitude and sometimes called as modulus. Theta is called as phasor or phase angle or is also called as argument. Phasor term is normally used in electrical engineering. In mathematics, we will use the term argument. And this argument you can obtain from the present diagram by taking tan theta. So, tan theta is always equals to y by x y is the imaginary part and x is the real part. So, if you represent the same number as m angle phi, it is called as polar system. So, any complex number can be represented as uh, Cartesian system or can be represented as polar system. Recall here x can be written as m cos theta and similarly y can be written as m sin theta. So, if we put for x and y in a Cartesian system that is z equal to x plus i y, we will get z is equal to x. So, if we substitute for x and y here, we get m common and we left with cos theta plus i times sin theta. Now, this notation is similar to your polar form where m is equal to r and cos theta plus j sin theta. This one is called as polar form notation which can be expressed as m times e j theta or e i theta. This type of form is called as Euler form. We call this as exponential form. So, normally three types of system are used. If you want to locate the 5 angle 30, so you draw a circle of uh, radius equal to 5 and construct a anticlockwise positive 30 degree where these two points will intersect. That point is represented as angle 5 angle 30. So, anticlockwise is taken as positive and clockwise is taken as negative. We want to look at minus 1. In that case, we can have one angle 180. 180 you can measure in clockwise direction or you can make anticlockwise direction. So, if you make it anticlockwise or you make it clockwise, same number can be represented as one angle 180 or one angle minus 180. So, we can very well write minus 1 is equals to 1 plus minus angle of plus minus 180. This is a special number. Remember that 
anti clockwise is taken as positive and clockwise is taken as negative this is how you can represent your any complex number in either of the form you can represent it on cartesian system you can represent it on polar system and even you can represent in euler form also that is m e j theta so in euler form e i theta is basically a circle of unit radius so e i theta is normally taken as cos theta plus i times sin theta remember here it is multiplied by 1 1 is always hidden now if we apply this we have a value of m equal to 5 and angle is 30 so same number is represented as cos cos 30 plus i times sin 30 now whenever you have to calculate phasor angle you have to take care that a point must be first located and then you have to calculate it suppose you want z equal to minus 2 minus 3i so first you draw coordinate system regular xy system we have minus 2 units on x axis so mark 2 units on x axis and imaginary part we have 3 units but of negative side so mark 3 units on y axis negative y axis where these two point will come meet that number is minus 2 minus 3i so this one is your point of interest z to find the argument join this point with origin measure this radial distance that will be called as m modulus and when you have to measure the angle measure the angle always with the positive x axis or real axis so with reference to this you have to measure your angle and if you measure in this direction it will be taken as positive value so to to calculate this total angle if we calculate this angle equal to phi then angle theta will be equals to 180 plus phi to calculate phi angle you can construct your right angle triangle having y distance equal to 3 unit and x distance equal to 2 unit so we have tan phi equal to 3 by 2 from this we can calculate phi and then you add 180 to get exact answer don't do the direct calculation to find out tan inverse of minus 3 divided by minus 2 this will give you totally wrong answer always use coordinate system to locate your argument that only give you correct answer so step are very clear locate a point in the quadrant major x distance y distance calculate angle theta add 180 or 270 as per the point lies in which quadrant so this 3.2 come out to be 56.3 so we get angle theta or argument will be equals to 180 plus 56.3 that equal to 236.3 Now same point can also be written if we use this angle as a clockwise direction as taken as minus value. So this time it will be 180 minus of phi. So 180 minus 56.3 will be the angle then. That is also argument. So argument is written always in the form of either. And if you are interested to find out the modulus or radius r, it is equal to simply under root of 3 square plus 2 square. That is nine plus four is root thirteen. This number two i minus two i minus three i. Your modulus is root thirteen, and your argument is two thirty six point three. So you can very well write this as root thirteen, and argument is two thirty six point one three, or you can write it as root thirteen minus of one eighty minus fifty six point three is minus of 123.7 now we, we have finished this part in introduction part we'll go for the simple algebra